They're beautiful subscribers. So um, this is quite a large message today and it's quite an in-depth message. Um, last night I had a lot of information coming through around um, what is happening over the next few weeks and where we're going energetically. And... We have been in a state of experience. So if you look at past lives, timelines, um, current experience and how it all intersects together, um, we have had our experience. We've stored the memories within our DNA and our cellular level and also our physical body. And then now we're in a, we have just kind of, you know, interlocked with our reveal stage. So we're starting to really understand who we truly are so that we can then um, go into the restorative stage of actually um, healing those spaces, understanding them and moving into a much more higher vibration space. So I was getting some information around um, how, you know, we really are not living in linear timelines anymore. And you may have noticed time like your days are shifting, you don't know what day it is or you don't know what time it is, you think it's a time and it's not. Um, I felt like I experienced New Year's about five times in a row um, after January this year. And today's um, message is very interesting. I painted this last night for the weekly energy message. It's almost like a metas metamorphosing lion which is huge about what's happening for August. August is going to be a massive um, power, personal power portal. And I also painted this, didn't really know what it was at the time, kind of just paint and then I put them away and then I kind of look at them again. There's definitely a portal happening there um, energetically. So um, I will start to talk a little bit about what crystals and cards I've chosen this week. And then see how that also works um, on the level of what messages have come through for me. So the Botswana Agate um, talks about breathing. So it's about breathe with me by your side. Allow love and wisdom to guide you to your empowered purpose. The eternal self has been weighed light as a feather, thus enter the halls of Shambhala with Anubis as guide, physically no burden, but a gift of choice and experience. Close your eyes, breathe, feel your calm breath flow through you. Let it clean and cleanse with precision, bringing awareness to the disease of attachment. Know your right to freedom and embrace your individuality the gift you are to the united spirit eternal. And this card um, represents, I choose to breathe the breath that came to me. To, I create my life. It is what I am. Um, the key words um, that this card represents is breath, personal power. How about that? Addiction, um, manifestation, breathe, solar plexus, chakra, and choice. So this card comes forth when we're, um, wanting, when needing some information on, um, it's time to breathe fresh air, uh, become the shepherd of self, not one of the sheep. So what I'm feeling from this card is hugely around what we are being told at the moment anyway, which is really, really start to look into your intuition. Um, stop following other people in a way of, seeing them as gurus and really starting to intuitively connect, which is a huge part of what I promote. I don't want to be getting, you know, loads of money out of people. I want them to be able to connect to themselves and feel that connection. So I might have one or two healing sessions with them and then I'm happy, you know, to be able to connect um them to their space so that they're able to move forward for that and that's what the pillow energy healing does so um yeah it is time to allow a problem that has taken up your time to find its solution doors are opening that have been closed for too long be sure to walk through them and 
the pyrite came through for, um, with that one too, which comes around mental clarity. It's a really good crystal for mental clarity. All right, what's next? So I'm feeling the heart chakra come through next. So the heart chakra um, card is from the Psychic Tarot John Holland de deck. And this card comes through, um, the keywords are I love. Parallel to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time you need so that your healing energy can get through and flow um, freely. And the heart chakra is hugely about giving and receiving. And I know that um, through my own experiences and clients' experiences as well, that often what we're doing is we're uh, giving a lot of energy, but maybe not receiving as much. And it is about opening ourselves to the receiving of that energy. All right. So now I'm just going to go to the eternal love card from, um, Archangel Michael. And this one, um, that comes through says, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. There we go. So, um, eternal love. So You've drawn this card because someone is sending you love at the moment or you feel that you need to send someone love. This card symbolizes Archangel Michael's reassurance that all is well with loving thoughts. The angels are watching over your loved one or you in your relationships. Um, so this card can be around reminding you that you're a lovable person, reminding you to seek love but also give love to yourself. Um, it could be a card of message from someone saying, I love you from um, spirit world. Um, it could be the angels coming through saying that they love you. It could be um, a uh, just a reminder that you are loved no matter what you're going through at the moment. Even if it doesn't feel that way, you are loved. Um, ties in with that heart chakra card. Now, um, this card came up, the material and spiritual prosperity card. And this card comes up when we're looking at, it's representing a peaceful, tranquil time when problems seem to disappear. So something is expected to arrive in your life. So, um... This card may also signify a group that has worked towards a common common goal, a time of prosperity, balance and harmony in your physical and spiritual existence as you give and receive to bring you the prosperity. So that comes with most affirmations anyway. And if you are manifesting in your life and you're giving and receiving, you will always be prosperous. Um, the universal monetary system not the physical, earthly, bound monetary system, the program system, but the universal monetary system works on give and receive. And so it doesn't matter what you're giving and receiving, but it is about there is an equal um, energy in that space. And obviously, if you know about manifesting, if we create um, our world and we create what we want out of that, then if you are worrying about something, then you're going to create that in your world and your reality. Um, so it's about manifesting um, for kindness and intention. Set your intention of what you want and it may not be working towards it. It may just be reminding yourself that that intention is there and then that giving and receiving of energy somehow around that. So practice generosity, gratitude and compassion so that you can continue to prosper in all areas of your life. Okay. So Shaman Crystal coming through again, um, connection to nature, connection to Shaman World. So the next card that came through is Explore Your Options. So this is saying, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, assess all of my options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life purpose. So this card comes through when 
you've worked hard to make your current circumstances um, working and you're looking at other alternatives, coping and adaption are skills that you have um, had to gain along the way. And Archangel Michael was reminding you it's important to be honest and authentic with yourself. So don't compromise um, and make sure that your needs are being met in gentle and loving ways. So um, this is around finding new, it could be around finding new ways to heal what's happening for you. It could be about um, if you're experiencing a negative situation or something that is frustrating, it could be about just reflecting back as to why that might be happening. And it may not be a direct link to you. It may be the other person's experience and lesson to learn. So not every single lesson is our lesson to learn. And sometimes it is about just pushing the energy back and saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to let that go. Um, it could be changing a career or lifestyle, allowing yourself to daydream about possibilities and remember that everything is possible. So this card is around, there are changes that are happening and there really are personal power, gaining more personal power, working through um, things that may have be setting you back and really stepping into that personal power. Um, so abundant, beautiful citron that comes with um, manifesting and about abundance in health, happiness, um, business, just general life. Um, lavender, body, mind and soul connection. Let's have a look. Uh, what the representation so obviously lavender is quite a calming scent and a calming color so it's a subtle color and it um connects you to your body mind and spirit helps boost your immune system and assist with a healing process connect to heaven and earth with lavender threads of light to assist you to feel whole you need to experience the connection between your body mind and soul so imagine a lavender colored thread of light which links your body to your mind and your mind to your soul observe as this thread connects your feet to the energy of the earth and your mind to the higher realm focus on the joy of being yourself in touch with heaven while on earth say divine spirit please strengthen my connection with my own divinity and allow me to see the divinity in others thank you when you are around anyone allow yourself to look past the surface and connect to their divine nature and energy. So that's a really beautiful message um, around allowing that connection of self but also that connection of others and obviously um, pulling back any judgments that you may have. And I guess that comes with the programming as well. So the next card is ask Archangel Michael to help me with the situation. So we say, Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me in this situation. Please help me. Be filled with faith and peace at all times. So this card comes through when um, you can improve your situation with Archangel Michael's help. It serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving you inner peace, new ideas and insights. Michael will help you um, in unexpected ways to be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. And I just want to give you a little bit of a um, quick story around how that's happened for me. So we had a really um, interesting experience before we moved back to Adelaide and we were really stressed about um, what had happened with the real estate. They wanted to take our money because they said that um, we hadn't done a good enough job with the house, um, cleaning it, and they wanted to do a full, you know, take nearly $400 out of our bond. And we fought it and we fought it. And then we decided, do you know what? It's only $400. This is an emotional reaction that we could feel from the person. Um, they were not good. They were just relentless. Like I've had experiences before I've been able to negotiate. You know, I'm really good at that um, space. But this time it just felt relentless and and um, demoralizing and depleting of our energy stores. And I said, you know what? I can't do this. And I emailed them. And I said, you know, look, we, because of personal grievances and, you know, part of that is um, just the fact that we're in a completely different state as well. 
um, the situation that we're in is not appropriate to be able to keep forth with this um, investigation. So we'll let it go. Um, please take the money out of bond. And then we've just received $2,000. So you weigh it up, you know, you weigh it up. And, it, and I've had that happen before as well where I had a friend at the time borrow some money and um, she didn't contact us back to um, give it back. We really thought that she was pretty legitimate. Um, I let it go. I don't hold on to those things. I never have. I never will. And my husband really struggled with that. And I said to him, look, you've got to let it go. We're not going to be able to get it back. When these people are in this emotional position, you're not going to be able to get it back. They're not, if they're borrowing money for something, they're not going to be able to suddenly have money. They're not going to be able to have the emotional ability to, um, you know, uh, ex um, get that back to you basically and to understand what's going on. People need time a lot of the time to step back and go, hmm, what's happened there? I've had a few of these instances in my life with people and I don't hold grudges. I do let it go. I always have. I see it as a give and receive and we received a, a, a bulk sum of money um, after that. So it's interesting. Um, you know, we let go this $400. We've just received, you know, $2,000 plus dollars, um, for, you know, work. So um, unexpected work. And I, and I just, you know, this relates to this card because I did do a lot of introspective work. I did a lot of angel work. I asked for help. You know, I, I looked introspectively and externally. So I asked for an intuitive reading from a beautiful lady. And so, you know, I did my own card work. I did my own internal work, my own meditation. And then I decided this is what I need to do. So that's just a really great example of where I've come, you know, into those situations and being able to um, ask for things. And then suddenly this unexpected experience happens. And it is kind of mind blowing um, because we're not asking for a sum of money, but we did get told that, you know, um, it's not worth our time. It's not worth our energy. It's not our lesson to learn. Um, so yeah, just a really beautiful experience of what can happen if you allow the universe to flow in the way that, um, is needed to at the time. So, um, we have the three of wands. So the three of wands is focusing on looking out. Um, it's talking about plans, visions, goals that you may have. And it is saying to put full force into those in a really balanced manner because the chariot, and I think we had this last week as well, is about um, power, but in a really positive way and, and that completion. So that you are in control of this and it is a choice and you are able to move forward um, with your soul's purpose and what you um, are wanting to commit to. Um, and just, you know, a little bit more about the, the uh, portal that's coming up on the 8th of the 8th. It's a really important time to focus on our intention. So we've just had a beautiful new moon. And if you can have a, take a few minutes to either meditate or write down your intention, write an intention for the next couple months. What do you want by September? What do you want by October? I would say September is probably the best month to write it for. Set your intention because that's what the manifesting is um, about at the moment. We're really pushing forward for this intention. The energy is saying you are totally able to do this. Um, you're in that restorative um, and reveal space. You're really learning about your energy and what you can do with it. And the lion's gate and the portal are saying, you know, we're really going to be pushed through That's, um, our spiritual energy again and really start growing that personal power. So um, once again, thank you for connecting with um, the uh, weekly energy message. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to message me or contact me in any way um, on my social media. So thank you so much for connecting and many blessings to you.